This is Ryan Corbett. He's been held captive by the Taliban for nearly a year and a half, suffering in a nine by nine cell. His family is now concerned for his health as he's not getting proper meals. For Drew Corbett, hobbies that were once a form of release no longer have meaning. When he didn't get out, I took this part here that um, the little points and I shaved them off and I put ebony black on that. And I'm like, there's a dark spot. But in the end, the dark spot's pretty beautiful. The dark spot in his life is time spent waiting for the return of his son. It's awful, it's just awful. Corbett and his wife Evie are at a loss. Their son Ryan has been held hostage by the Taliban for nearly 18 months. A damp, cold prison, cell down in the basement, very little light, no heat. Ryan moved to Afghanistan with his wife Anna and their kids in 2010, starting a company to help Afghans start their own small businesses. Very, very different place. But, you know, that's what he wanted. His family wanted it, raised his kids there 12 years, and it was kind of like where they fit. After rebuilding their lives and spending years there, Kabul fell to the Taliban. Civilians are wondering what will come next. Thousands flooded the airport in a desperate attempt to flee the Taliban. I mean, just heartbreaking, tragic scenes, incredible scenes. A worldwide story in 2021, the Corbett's had to flee the country with thousands of others. Yeah, I mean, you worry as a parent, but you also know of the possibility of that kind of thing. And it was, it was shocking, realizing that his life would change at that point, to say nothing about now. Not wanting to leave the people he's helped behind, he went back. His visa was approved the following year. It was on a trip in August of 2022 that he was kidnapped by the Taliban. February 10th will be 18 months. His family has not seen him since. His wife has only spoken to him three times. Well, we first feel bad for him personally. He is suffering greatly in a nine by nine cell, often in solitude, sometimes um, in prison with five other guys in a cell like that. Um, poor nutrition, um, his health is breaking down and that's the urgency that we're feeling now. They were never given a reason why he was kidnapped and were told to keep quiet for months. Now Ryan's wife is doing everything she can to get him home. She's testified before the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Even Congressman Morgan McGarvey is involved working to pass a resolution to get Ryan home. First and foremost, I'm a dad. And to get that call from another dad who said, my son is being held by the Taliban, locked up in a Taliban jail unlawfully, and he's been there for 538 days. You know, it just, it just breaks your heart. And those recent talks at the national level now giving these Louisville parents hope, a sliver of light during a dark spot for this family. As I think it, Ryan, of Ryan's dark spot right now, ultimately, I think God is going to use it to beautify his life and Maybe all of us. Now that resolution to get Ryan home was sent to the House Committee on Foreign Affairs. There is a meeting scheduled next week. With photojournalist Jeff Gordon, I'm Christy Batista, WDRB News.